This picture illustrates the dashboard just above the ignition switch. Using a plastic pry tool, lever the wood trim strip just above the ignition switch, red arrow. Do not lever at any other point of the wood trim strip, only to the left end of it beginning by the steering wheel. The blue arrows point to the style of the clip securing the trim. Further down the wood trim, the style of clip changes. See the following steps. Slide the entire wood trim strip in the direction of the red arrow a few inches, then pull the wood trim strip away from the dashboard to remove it. The blue arrows show the clips used on the remainder of the wood trim. They engage in a slot in the dashboard. The clips detach by sliding them out of the slot, then pulling the trim piece away from the dashboard. This picture illustrates the center of the dashboard below the heater control panel. Remove the two T30 torque fasteners, green arrows, under the wood trim strip you have just removed. You do not need to remove the radio navigation unit to do this job, but we have done so for photographic purposes. Using a small thin pick or flathead screwdriver, insert it into the second slot from the front of the center dashboard grill and three over from the right. This is the only slot that you can use to lever the release mechanism from. You will also need to release the other side of the center dashboard grill by inserting the pick in the slot second from the bottom and the third slot to the left. Here we are illustrating the same procedure on the right side of the center dashboard grill. Lever the pick upward until the locking tab on the center dashboard grill is released from the dashboard. Do this for the locking tab on the left side of the center dashboard grill as well. Lift the center dashboard grill upward and pull it towards you to release the back of the center speaker grill from the dashboard. Remove the two T30 mounting fasteners, green arrows, just above the air register. This picture illustrates the center of the dashboard near the base of the windshield with the center dashboard grill removed. Remove the two T30 fasteners, as indicated by the green arrows, for the loudspeaker. Pull the loudspeaker out of its opening in the dashboard. Unplug the electrical connector for the loudspeaker by squeezing in the connector, green arrow, and pulling it away from the loudspeaker in the direction of the blue arrow. Slide the entire air register, climate control unit, out of the dashboard to expose the electrical connectors. Unplug the smaller of the two electrical connectors, green arrow, from the climate control unit by squeezing it and pulling it in the direction of the blue arrow. Unplug the larger of the two electrical connectors by pushing in on the locking tabs, green arrow, and sliding the locking lever, yellow arrow, in the direction of the blue arrow. With the locking lever pushed all the way down to the bottom, unplug the electrical connector by pulling in the direction of the blue arrow. This picture illustrates the back of the air register climate control unit. Remove the 9T10 fasteners as indicated by the green arrows. Unplug the electrical connector on the back of the climate control unit on the left side by squeezing the locking tabs and pulling the electrical connector out of the climate control unit. Separate the climate control unit from the air register. Installation is the reverse of the removal steps. Fit the new climate control unit in the air register assembly and tighten the nine fasteners. Plug in all three electrical connectors in the back of the climate control unit. On the larger connector, make sure the locking lever is all the way down. Push the electrical connector into the climate control unit and lever the locking lever towards its original position. As you do this, the electrical connector will be drawn into the climate control unit. Slide the climate control unit air register into its place in the dashboard. Plug in the loudspeaker, fit into its opening in the dashboard, and tighten the two fasteners. Tighten the two fasteners just above the air register and the two fasteners just below the climate control unit. Install the center dashboard grill by laying it flat just ahead of its normal position and sliding it in towards the front of the car until the rear locating tab and the two front locking tabs fit into their slots. 
Install the wood trim strip into the dashboard, slide it slightly to the left, and push the left end into the dashboard until it is fully seated. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article, along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.